Hi, I'm James, and in this video I'm taking a look at disassembling an HP Pavilion 15. Uh, the code for this laptop is N270SA. And unfortunately I haven't been able to find any good service manuals for this laptop or guides. Um, so effectively I'm going in blind. Um, what we have is this particular laptop is failing to boot. So in an effort to restore that, I believe I need to disconnect the BIOS battery. There we go. Now these appear to be captive screws. So if we grab one of our pry tools, we should be able to lever off this base panel. This will give us access to according to the little symbols, the wireless card and the memory. So just by clipping along here, that's released that panel. We can also see actually they only set this up with a single channel of memory, so adding a second DIMM may help with performance. Now, next thing we're going to do is disconnect the two aerials. White on number two, black on number one. Just so that as we come to take this base panel off, that should ease that a little. Now we've also, what we should have done first, remove the battery. There are no screws hidden under that that I can see. Nope. And then we will work around the base, removing the various screws. those undone, let's just go for these ones from under the drive bay cover, oops sorry, under the memory cover. The hard drive isn't easily accessible on this machine but the memory is, uh, the hard drive is presumably here. Next up, and to remove the keyboard, I've already started working a pry tool, having uh, undone it on the other side. Working a pry tool around the keyboard just to release the clips that hold it in position. And with that there, then we have a tab on the back. And this appears to be a Interesting fitting. So lift that latch up and slide out the connector. So with that taken, let's remove these top portion screws. These are shorter than the screws used for the base. These internal ones appear to be the same size, M2.5 by 3. We'll also lift this latch, presumably for the touchpad. Let's see if we can get out this top panel. It appears the red is a, yep, there we go, if we slide in round here, so we 
slide the pry tool round and this allows us to release the clips holding this top section into the laptop. And around the other side. And continue going round. A bit more of a pry needed, it seems, and then around the top edge here, we should just be able to release this. Just by lifting slightly and going along the back here. Release the remaining clips. Of course, let's just release the power button quickly. So that is a third cable there. And with that, we can lift that panel out. Now from here you can see we have access to the hard drive. Simply release this cable for the door to board here. You've also got the connector for the optical drive. And from here you can also get to the hinges for the screen if you need to remove that. You have the cables that route through here, the screen connector here. Power connector is on the opposite side of the main board. But what we need to do for this particular job is release the main board as I want to disconnect the main BIOS battery. So now we have a remaining one, two, here's just two screws holding in the motherboard is it? It actually appears this motherboard is shared, ah, in fact there is a third down here. There are some additional cables up here which can be disconnected, but I believe I should be able to get away with this by just levering it up slightly. Is we are going to have to remove the wireless card as this is screwed to the chassis, is it? It is indeed. So by removing that now we should be able to lift the motherboard. There we go, that has freed the board. And there we go, if we disconnect those top cables here and here for the power and speaker, then that would allow us to move the board completely. But in this case, I am simply looking to release this BIOS battery. Obviously at this point the screen is trying to pull the laptop backwards, let's just even that out a little. And there we go, that is the BIOS battery removed, we have access to the processor heatsink, the processor is soldered down so it can't be replaced, but if we wanted to clean out the heatsink or the fan we have access to that here, we have access to the hard drive here, screen can easily be removed if need be. To remove the hard drive we need to remove this little daughter board with the USB on it. So 
if we remove this screw here, we've already detached the other end of the ribbon, ribbon cable from the motherboard. Screw to one side. And lift that board out and this just frees the bottoms of the bits holding the hard drive in place. And then we simply lever that up to remove the drive. And yes, that covers disassembling the HP Pavilion 15.